Hey guys, so today I wanted to do the um, princess tag. This is where you um, feature your favorite luxury beauty products. And I saw um, Tati or Glam Life Guru um, did this tag. And a lot of people have done this tag. Um, it's a good way to see what high-end products people like. Um, because pro high-end products are more expensive. And you kind of want to see reviews on things that are that price before you buy them. You don't want to be just trying things out. It's different than just trying things out at the drugstore because you're not breaking the bank with it. So I kind of like watching these videos so I figured I would make one. Um, and uh, you go through all the different types of beauty products and you state what you have in your collection that you like to use that is a luxury product and kind of why you like it and then if you don't have anything um, you can mention something you do like or a product you'd like to try. So let's just get started. I'm going to start out with foundation. I do not have a high-end foundation um, just because they are so expensive, but I would like to try the Urban Decay Naked Skin. And a foundation I do like right now is the L'Oreal True Match, and I am in C1 right now for winter. Number two, um, I don't have a high-end foundation or I'm sorry, high-end concealer, but I am loving uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair, and I would like to try MAC concealers because a lot of people really like those, and I think I'd like to try the MAC Pro Longwear for like the under eyes because that's really all I use concealer for, or even to um, cancel out veins and use as an eyeshadow primer as many people do. Next would be a bronzer. And I don't know if some people would consider this a high-end um, brand, but I would. Is the Victoria's Secret line of things. Um, this is the Baked Mineral Bronzing Powder. And this is in Glowing. This was one of the lightest shades. And I really like this because... Um, I'm not wearing it today, but... Um, although it does look like it has a lot of shimmer in it, it comes off pretty matte. And I'm fine with the shimmer in winter because, you know, your skin's looking kind of dry. You kind of need that extra sheen. And because it is winter and I'm really pale, um, this is a really, really nice color. And it's just a really nice consistency, and I was really surprised by it. Um, you could probably still get this at Victoria's Secret. This is the Paradise Collection, so I got this um, during semi-annual. This was $5, which I think is amazing because this product is awesome. Um, but this is really similar to the ones that they always have, but they can be up to like $20. So... Um, I would definitely check around the semi-annual sales for all their makeup because a lot of their stuff actually is pretty nice. Um, and then also another, bleh, <laughs> words, um, they need to happen. Uh, another bronzer that I've been liking, I don't want to say love, is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Um, this is just a little sample that I've been trying out and that's pretty much all I can say is I've been trying it out. Next is blush, and you can't get this palette anymore, unfortunately, I'm sorry to be mentioning it, but just any old Amazonian clay blush, they're great. They're like $30 a piece, this kit was not 30, you know, worth $30 for each of these, but this kit was like 42 but, you know, if they ever come out with one of these again, I would recommend it. Um, and it also has a bronzer in here, but I really like these blushes, they do really last all day. Um, next is eye products, and I'm going to start with high-end eyeshadows, and here I have um, Max Charcoal Brown. This I can use for my brows, for the crease. It's a really nice shadow. Um, I do have oily eyelids, but this does actually stay pretty well without a primer. Um, would I repurchase it? Probably not, because I have a lot of other shades that are really similar, that are cheaper. Um, and my second one is another Victoria's Secret product. This is the Shimmer Eyeshadow. And this is in Makeout. And this is just really pretty. It's really unique. It's really like a mousse. Like, you can kind of, like, see that I, like, press into it. But when you apply it, it's just, like, super, super shimmery. And I like to top this, like, over the center of the lid. I don't put this in the crease because it will crease. Because it is kind of like an oily product. But I think that's the point so that the glitter sticks to it. And it's not, like all those famous Urban Decay eyeshadows that all the glitter just falls out, the glitter stays in this, but it's kind of almost like a glaze that just is like a top coat to your eyeshadow. But it's really pretty, or you can use it as a cheek highlight, anywhere you want glitter. These are amazing. Um, next is eyeliners, and surprisingly when I was looking through my collection, 
I came up with these Urban Decay liners. Um, I have a couple other types of, oh I'm getting glitter everywhere now, um, high-end liners. I have a couple of Stila ones, um, and that's it. So as far as high-end goes, my opinion is you don't have to ever buy high-end eyeliners. Like, I have these Stila ones, they set really nicely, but the thing is you can buy like what is this one? Essence has really nice long wearing eyeliners. So does NYX. Um, you really don't have to buy high end eyeliners. The reason I like these is because I got them with kits or I got them for really cheap online. Um, I like these. Not this one, it's got glitter in it, but this one, it's really bright blue. But these don't irritate my inner waterline. You'll notice if you ever have seen any of my other makeup tutorials. I really don't often put anything in the waterline, but this did not irritate my waterline at all, and it didn't really give me that gunky buildup in the center, you know, of the inner tear duct of your eye. So that's why I really like these. You know, I could just pop them on the lid, and they set. Um, me, I have oily eyelids, so they will crease. So there's that. You know, you can get a cheaper eyeliner, but these are nice. These are my favorite. Um, as far as mascara, I really love the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I have a um, this is a little sample size that came with this and uh, a shadow insurance and like a pore filling primer. Um, but I do really, really like this. The brush is really interesting. Um, you know, it is, it has that hourglass shape and it is really nice. The formula is really nice. It's just I'm worried when I finish this because I do not want to pay $23 for a mascara. Um, next would be lip liners. Now, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I do have this high-end little naked sample, you know, it's the Urban, K Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Naked. Um, I don't like this color. It's too dark on me. I just got it as a sample, so I've kept it, obviously. Um, but what I want to say about lip liners is the NYX lip liners are amazing. I will never, ever buy a high-end lip liner because these are just too good. Um, this one has to be my favorite. It's in Deli Pink. I have a red one. I have um, Pale Pink. I have Prune. Like, I've gone through these like crazy. Um, and they do work really nice. You can put a gloss over these. You can line, a, you know, your lips with these and put on a dark color. Um, and if you want to amp it up a little bit, NYX also has the retractable ones. And these are waterproof, so these will set and they will, like, you almost practically need a makeup remover to get them off your lips. So that's what I got to say about um, high-end lip liners. Now, as far as lipstick, um, I love Cream Cup. This is my favorite high-end lipstick. I only have three high-end lipsticks. I have this one, um, Angel, I just got because a lot of people said this was really similar to Cream Cup. I'm not like as blown away with this one because it's a little bit more sheer, but I'm testing it out. And then I also got the um, new Viva Glam one. This is the Rihanna one. So if you guys want to see a video about this, post something below or comment below about it. Um, the packaging is really nice and that's what that looks like. So if you want to see a video about this um, with swatches or something like that, um, let me know and I will do that. So next is high-end lip gloss. Again, I have a um, Victoria's Secret lip gloss here. This one um, I got because I really liked. It's holographic. Um, it doesn't show up like too, too much, but it is a really nice gloss. Um, I will say that you don't get a lot of product in here, but I don't know if you can see that. It's like really holographic, so it looks cool over like a darker shade or just on its own or over a nude. Um, but I will say again, the NYX Mega Shine lip glosses are really nice. I'll never buy, I'm not a huge lip gloss person, so I'll never buy a high-end lip gloss, um, because these ones are really, really great. Um, lastly is eyebrows, um, and what I have here is the e.l.f. 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 <laughs> um, e.l.f. eyebrow kit, and this is medium. I actually have all of the shades this comes in. Um, actually I think this comes in four shades, but I have three of them. Um, because I keep them in my kit. If I ever do someone else's eyebrows, they come in light, ash, and medium. I think there's a dark too, but I just thought that was... I didn't need that one. Um, because medium is really dark enough. Uh, and you can always use a powder. 
But I really like this. Um, the wax is really nice, and this is really nice for blending out in the crease or for using on the eyebrow. Um, you can see my eyebrows, uh, how dark they are, so this is kind of perfect, and I like a darker brow, so I'm not going to go for like a taupe. I'd go for the dark brown. Um, I will say, though, if I could try a high-end product, I would try the new Anastasia. Um, it comes in like a little... It comes in like a little tube, like or a little jar like this, but it's like the brow mousse stuff. I would definitely try that stuff. So hopefully you guys um, liked my video today. Don't forget to um, comment or like if you liked the video. Leave anything below if you have any questions about products or if you want to see any videos, if you have any requests. Just let me know. Thanks for watching.